On this video, we're going to operate functions pertaining to the sensors connected to EGDIS. So first thing we're going to do is to switch between primary and secondary position sources. And in order for us to do that, we're going to press display, press set, next is basic setting. Under basic setting, sensor, system sensor setting, click. So as of now, we're using DGPS1. So in order for us to select DGPS2, check if it is not in auto. If it is in auto, you cannot select. So press select, then select DGPS2. Then don't forget to press save. Then after that, you can check now that we are using DGPS2 position. Next thing is use the alarm button or precursor on the second line message to disable the sound and message from the display. Usually there's an alarm but right now we don't have an alarm. But in order to cancel the alarm, we need to put the cursor on this alarm section then you need to press left button okay but if you're not going to use the the cursor you can also press alarm acknowledge on the panel in order to cancel the alarm so the sample of alarm is right here so there is a beeping sound so just click or just press acknowledge, alarm acknowledge, in order to cancel the alarm. Next is to check the information sensor ports where the information is getting. Check set or display, then press set. Then, under set is basic setting. So if you're going to check the system sensor setting, where your heading is been, or where your heading information is been collected, you can check here that it is getting from gyro one. For speed, you can put select if you have another sensor for speed or speed lag but at this time we can put in auto in course over ground in speed over ground we can choose auto or select if you want to choose among these two sensors GPS 1 or GPS 2 so we can put it back to select and position you can also select either GPS 1 or GPS 2 but don't forget to press save after you choose the prepared sensor that you want to choose to another one is the other sensor setting you can check here all the sensor and the status including integrity and comparison at this point the GPS to for position fail so therefore you need to choose GPS 1 because on filter status in integrity it indicates fail so that's the importance of knowing when a sensor port is improperly selected okay so those are the function pertaining to the sensors connected to 
Ectis. Again, we are still using the Puruno brand.